Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Turn this light up a little bit. Now, pretty much about done with the garment. As you can see, I put some lettering in. Kind of done a little more to it. Um, as you can see, I got Yahweh Shai. I got Yahweh, Yahweh Shai on it. And that came from, like I said, these, um, you know, the little iron-ons, you know what I'm saying, where, you know, you do jeans or elbows, you know what I'm saying, if, you know, rough, you know, rough play from the children. That's originally what those were for. I remember back in the days, people used to use them, you know, um, instead of just going and just, you know, because, you know, our people are real wasteful now, they just throw shit out. You know, I remember back in the days, hey, you, if you got a hole in the socks, you sew that motherfucker up. Now it's just like throw the socks out, <laughs> you know, get a new, new, new pack. But that's um, Esau Edom's way of just basically they've been living in luxury and, and it's really wasteful. It's going to come a time where, you know, hey, you're going to want to save on everything that you possibly can or they just throwing shit out. That's not going to work anymore. But as you can see, we got the top part of the garment done. I still haven't put the slits in, you know what I'm saying, as far as like the um, fringes. But this was the bottom part right here. As you can see right there, we got the bottom border of blue right there. Uh, looking a little dark. Now let me see if I can. Matter of fact, I'm about to throw a little more light on here. But as you can see, border of blue. And all I got to do is just um, basically just cut the slits in for the fringes. And that's pretty much all I was going to do to it right off. But as you can see, I mean, simple, real simple, real cheap. It doesn't take much to do. You don't have to spend a lot of money on it. It's just, you know, these iron-ons are perfect, man. You can put whatever design, whatever, you know, whatever you want to do. So, ribbon, you got the tape, the adhesive, uh, adhesive tape, which is going to hold down the, um, you know, you put that on first, and then you put the, the ribbon over it. And it's it's on there. It's bonded. I can already tell this is going to last for a while. Um, you know. It's just what the Lord, this is what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah showed me to do. To just do a cheap garment. Because it's not that much. Out of these particular materials, you can get like five, six, seven, eight garments out of that. For about 20 bucks or so. You know. So. It's not all about, you know, armbands. You see Jake out here, man. You know, especially, you know, like I said, I um groups like IUIC, man. Them guys, hey, they pass over. I was looking at they shit like, God damn, them motherfuckers look like they, you know, a, a, a movie set. They got they they had the movie set um garments, man. Them guys for lactaries. <laughs> you know, but it's not about that, man. You know what I'm saying? And like I said again, we always pray. To Yahweh by Shimei was shy for um, more laborers for the harvest. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. I just looked at the ribbon. It's, it actually says Yama on there. I didn't realize that before. Yama. <laughs> okay, but anyway, it's not about the look, look, but you know, it, if you're new to this truth, the apostles to her always said, hey, if you're new to this truth, if you've been in it to this truth and you've been listening for five, six months, seven months, there's no way that you should be into this truth in a, for a year and you haven't came out and done no, you, you haven't um, edified the people, man. You should have a YouTube channel, whatever channel, and you should be edifying the people to let the people know that Yahweh Shai is, is coming. Especially to our people, you know what I'm saying? The so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You got the, um, the sign right there. Judah Negroes, Benjamin West Indians, Levi Haitians, you got Ephraim, Puerto Ricans, Manasseh, Cubans, Simeon, Dominicans. I got the other sign over there. But what I'm saying is, is there's no way that you shouldn't have work going on, man. It's, you got to get to work. It's time to get to work, man. We, we about out of here. You know, you're supposed to be, you know, basically putting up treasures, man, in the heavens. See, these clowns that's got million, 100 million, 200 million, they got billions, they got trillions. That shit ain't going to be nothing, man, <laughs> when, when the Lord come, man. The Lord is about to knock this whole place off, man. It's time to repent. That's why we, hey, look, you brothers, hey, do your cheap garment. You've learned the truth. 
even if you just know um the the breakdown of John 3:16 or if you know the breakdown of Romans 13, 11, and 12, which I use all the time. That's my channel was Hebrew Israelite milk. I don't get into the meat really like that. I know some meat. I know the meat. You know what I'm saying? But I generally use the 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 milk of it because you got new brothers coming in and they need that milk to go out and teach. You see what I'm saying? They'll get the meat later on. But the, the, this is milk stuff right here, you know, cheap garment. You go through the Walmart. You get the ribbon of blue. It's nothing. I got the spindle. You know? You 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 use the, the iron on tape. You tape it on. Basically, now, like I said again, with these right here, you cut out your lettering. You iron it on. So I got Yahweh, Yahweh Shai on there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you can see it, see it like that. But anyway, you see what I'm saying. You put, you know, you put it on, you iron it down, and it's good. It's 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 ironed down. So, I would say value-wise, this garment was probably about $8 to put together, right? Seven, eight dollars Ten tops. Now, you're able to go out and, and just do the work, man. You put together you a sign, which is simple. It don't take no, you don't have to have no expensive, extravagant stuff. You can use a Sharpie. That's pretty much what, I, that's what this is. I use a Sharpie in the background right here, as you can see. On the um the chart. I'm Sharpie. That's Sharpie right there, man. Quick little something to put together. You put it together and you go out, man. You set it up and you go out and you teach, man, what you know to teach. The Lord is not gonna just send somebody to in matter of fact, there's a scripture that talks about if there, if somebody asks you a question that you don't know about, just say, Hey, look, I don't know about that right off, but I will check into it because there's a scripture. That talks about that. If you don't know, put your hand over your mouth, right? That's in the apocryphal. Put your hand over your mouth. Hey, look, don't wing it. If you don't know, just let that person know. Hey, look, I don't know. But what you can do, you can go to GMS and you can pull up scriptures on that particular subject and you'll come across all kinds of videos, even for yourself. Because you can say, hey, well, look, I'll go and study that and I'll come back. I'm going to be out here next week at this particular time. Come back and, and I'm going to have... Your answer for you, so to speak. But don't add to nor take away from the scriptures. You can't do that because that curse of the scriptures, you don't you don't want no parts of the plagues of the, of the scriptures, man. Don't add to or take away from the scriptures. Just put, hey, it says, put your hand over your mouth. I don't know. That's it. Don't wing the scriptures. You got a lot of proud ass brothers out here that's like, oh, I know everything. Look, we don't know. You look. <laughs> You don't know. We do have 100% of the truth from GMS, you know, from Apostle Tahar, Gabar, you know, um, Apostle Ramla, the bishops. We do have 100% truth, but they have breakdowns on YouTube where you can get whatever it is that you need to know about. Because if you're into this truth six months and you just come, at least you can say, hey, you're the Hebrew Israelites. You should know the true name of the Father, Yahweh, which I put right here. You should know the true names of the Son, Yahweh Shai, right? You should know those things. So from there, th that's simple. You can just teach on it. The true name of the Father is Yahweh. The true name of the, the Son is Yahweh's side. He's only coming from you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, which is the chart. And those particular breakdowns are really simple breakdowns, but you you learn it. You listen. You learn. You listen. You rewind back. You, yeah, you go back. You listen to that same lesson However many times it takes you to learn it. Then you go out and you teach that lesson. When it comes down, they may ask you a question about something else. Oh, well, you know what? I'll get back to you for that. Now, do you, you know, you're not going to be just all the way just out there. Like, you're, you're not, <laughs> you know, but if you, like I said, hey, if, if you've been listening to the apostles for six months or so, you get a lot of information within those six months. And how about Shemuel El Shai? He's going to teach you what you need to know to go forth to teach. To the people that you need to be teaching to. Because we're a body. Some of us are ears. Some of us are eyes. Some of us are the nose. Some of us are the arms. Some of us are the legs. Some of us are, you know. They're, they're a body. Yahweh Shai is the head. Or Yahweh is the head. Then Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? But overall, generally... 
we're the we're a body we're a unit you see what i'm saying so i didn't want to i didn't want to keep this long but i just wanted to show um a part two as to you know kind of like what i ended up kind of got together and done i should have had the um regular camera out i kind of but as you can see like i said i just kind of put a secondary um line on it as far as a ribbon you know right there and I got the bottom and I'm just going to cut the, um, you know, the fringes in. I'm not going to sew actual fringes on it. I'm just going to cut fringes on the end of the garment. So here you go right here. As you can see right here, we got the end of the garment right here. Already. And, and what we're going to do is we're just going to slit, 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 slit. And we're going to make the fringes. And it's going to eventually just fringe out on its own. You see what I'm saying? It's going to flare out on its own. And, and that's pretty much it, man. So, you know, I pray that the lesson was edifying. You learn how to make a quick um, um, garment. Um, you women, hey, you can do it for, for your men to help them going out on the road while they're studying, you know, whatever, whatever. But in the meanwhile, hey, the garment is, you see what it is, man. It's a simple garment. Simple garment. And, you, you know, like I said, you put the hot iron on it. And I'm going to go over it a few more times. That way, I see it's there, though. So, all I got to do is, you know, I'm just kind of just slop, kind of going over it and making sure that it really sticks. So, once you throw it in the washer, it's going to be there. It's not going to just come off. It's going to look the same as when you wash it. You don't have to wash it that often because we're not like, you know, we're wearing it for a hot sec. But it is getting warm out. So, you know, you may sweat, whatever, you know, once you throw it into the washer, it's going to be good. It's not going to come off. It's not going to swivel up. It's not going to do any of that. It's going to be straight. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Point me a shallow.